Hi guys, got a ton of great stuff to unbox. Let's get to it. All right, I'm back. I unboxed everything because you don't need to see me do that. I had actually forgotten some of these books that I ordered, so it's always kind of fun to... I let them... When I order a bunch of books, I just kind of let them pile up, and then I try to unbox them all for you guys so you can take a look. It's interesting because it kind of shows me over the past couple weeks where my head has been at. Um, obviously, it's been in some spec. Um, obviously, it's been in the X-Men world because, as you know, I've been trying to collect more of those. But uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so... The first ones were these. So this is the first appearance of Ray and Kylo Ren and all these great characters, or maybe not so great characters, depending on what you think. There are rumors that they're going to do another trilogy with these characters. I don't know. Even if they're done, I'm not sure. Even characters that people dislike, they come back and we like them. So I think if you can find this book for cheap, I got these. It's funny because it says Midtown, but I didn't buy them from Midtown. So someone bought them and then resold them. But I think they were 10 bucks each or something like that. I got them off of eBay. They're near Mint. So keep an eye out. I think those are low buys and you never know uh, what's going to happen. Uh, this one I got off of eBay for like 5 bucks. This is Thor 346. First appearance of the Casket of winters ancient winters uh omega comics who's another guy who i bought that uh asm 50 from the other week said there possibly could be a connection between that and the black winter so i um you know for cover i think it was even less than cover uh thought i could take a shot at this one so uh once again thor 346 uh this one was actually disappointing it's not disappointing because i have a bunch of these Venom 9, uh, first appearance of Dylan Brock. You know I'm big on this one. And as I've said in some of my other videos, I think, um, you know, once you really understand a comic and the pricing of it, you can uh, take a shot at it. So this one is in Raw has gone all the way up to maybe 100. And, uh, fall, and, and really the low end of it is 50. So anytime I can get it for 50, I definitely pick it up. I bought this from a guy... Um, an Instagram that I purchased before, and he said it was near mint, but it's clearly not. There's the, the corner here is totally smashed, and he put it in nice mylar and stuff, so you can tell it was smashed before I got it. So, um, and I'm not going to say anything to the guy, but probably won't buy from him again, so that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, so now let's get into some of the, you know, more interesting, bigger books here. So this one, you probably see me. I have a couple of these. And this is, uh, you're probably familiar with this one. This one just actually came out when the NFT thing, they released this one. So you always wonder when they're releasing things in other areas, Marvel that is, are they, are they showing their hand? So this is the first appearance of Maestro. Uh, this book is thicker and has kind of like a cardboard stock, but for whatever reason, I cannot find a near mint. Uh, all the ones I have are damaged. Like even this one that I bought, and I knew it when I bought it off of eBay, had some problems up on the edge up here. And, um, but one to look for, I mean, you can find them. I, um, I've seen them. I think everybody knows now you're not going to get it for cover, but it's definitely one you might want to take a shot at. Okay. So this one is X-Men Deadly Genesis one, the, uh, first appearance of Vulcan, who is, uh, Cyclops' brother. There's a long, I'll let you go. I won't ruin anything there, but, uh, this once again, I think I got it for 10 bucks, maybe online on eBay. So it's maybe one you can uh, look for. Good spec. And so these two I got from a guy. I visit his auctions on Thursdays, MM Comic Sales. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Great guy. Um, does really good auctions. I'll put the link to his IG on Thursdays. Thursday nights he has it. So I got this one, which is X-Men 107, first appearance of Star Jammers. It's a mid-grade copy, but he gave me a great deal. So I was happy to add this one to the collection. And 
Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, my camera died on me there. So this one, uh, so much speculation around Killmonger. Really excited to grab this one. Um, and prices on this have been all over the place. Um, and I've been just trying to be patient. Uh, the question is, is, is Killmonger going to show up in Black Panther 2? How does he show up? Does he become Black Panther? That is one of the things that I had speculated on. Um, if you follow my IG, uh, maybe a year ago, I guess the rumors are now Shuri is going to take over as Black Panther. I think we always knew that Shuri was going to take over as Black Panther, but you know, I thought maybe they would have uh, Killmonger step in. But this is a great one. I'm a huge Killmonger fan, and so I'm glad to add this to the collection. And um, I think I got it for a little over a hundred dollars. I can't remember. Uh, so I'm glad I stayed patient. Like I said, this is a mid-grade copy, so but definitely a great one. And the last one, which is X-Men number 8, The First Appearance of Eunice. So this is a beat-up copy. Um, I think I got it for a little over $100, too. Uh, it's, you know, the huge tear right here. It's, I know, it's a low-grade copy. But I think uh, if I can pick up any of these uh x-men you know in the first 25 or first 50 at a reasonable price now i'm gonna try and do it i do have some already and um i, I just think that's that's the right thing to do so that's about it thanks for joining me uh unboxing these great comics i'll talk to y'all soon mm -hmm.